All right, well, it's Joe here again, uh, known as Milk Crate 82 on YouTube, and uh, today I'm going to uh, experiment with uh, some painting. Uh, going to paint this uh, old truck. I've been doing all the rust repair and, and uh, things like that. I've made a bunch of videos of that. So, uh, anyway, my original plan was to go with this uh, this paint shop uh, system from Duplicolor. And I got the primer and I sprayed it on and uh, I mean this stuff is super duper thin and it didn't come out of my gun real well. Now let me point out this is literally the first HVLP gun I've ever bought and ever used and it is a Harbor Freight one. There were some very good reviews of it on the website people saying that it's as good as some of the more expensive ones but a lot of it could have been operator error because like I said I have never painted using uh, HVLP before uh, I've done like most everybody else and just used you know good old rattle cans so I thought I'd try something different anyway I'm not I'm, I'm gonna experiment with this rust-oleum and the paint thinner uh, one thing is this paint's actually pretty expensive. It's $25 for a quart. So it's $100 for a gallon. And uh, I got, let's see, I got one fender and one hood. And that took a quart and a half. And so, yeah, it's kind of expensive. So, anyway, like I said, I'm going to experiment. I was watching some YouTube videos and it was. These videos were called like the $50 Rust-Oleum paint job. You can look them up uh, when you get a chance. But some of these guys were actually getting a very, very nice finish. Uh, they were using a roller. They were thinning this Rust-Oleum paint with the paint thinner. And they were actually using uh, a small roller set and painting their trucks. And uh, what they were doing in between coats was wet sanding it. And uh, some of these guys got really a, a very very nice mirror finish on their paint and so I'm gonna try uh, I'm gonna experiment uh, with this except I'm gonna use since I already bought this HVLP gun uh, I'm gonna experiment with that uh, I'll thin the paint down a little bit and then uh, experiment with different ratios um, most of what I saw the guys were using uh, uh, 50 50 you know 50 percent paint 50 percent paint thinner uh, I think at least one other video the guy was doing a uh, you know basically a four to one 75 percent paint uh, 25 percent thinner so I'm gonna experiment uh, with putting it in the uh, paint gun and I still got this blue hood I haven't taken to the scrap yard yet this was the one that I cut the nose off because the nose of my uh, original hood was rusted out. So I got the hood, I just got it leaning up here against the uh, engine hoist. And this is just going to be my canvas for now. I'm going to use this to uh, experiment with the uh, with the paint. And so I'll just uh, document as I go along and hopefully I get some good results because uh, this stuff is much cheaper. Uh, this was ten dollars for the quart but they also had gallons. I just got the quart for for experimenting purposes um, but the gallon was at Home Depot the gallon of this same paint was like 26 or 27 well like I said this is 25 per quart plus tax and I can get a gallon of this for roughly the same price so uh, anyway I'll get going and uh, keep uh, shooting some videos alright well here's the first part and the obvious one is uh, grab you some of the paint sticks at Home Depot or Lowe's or wherever they're free so just you know I got a handful here you know of course stir your paint up and you'll need a mixing cup you can get these at the depot as well they're pretty cheap they're like a dollar a piece and anyway I got it filled up uh, 12 ounces of paint and I'll put in four ounces of uh, paint thinner and so that should give me a uh, four to one 
uh, ratio, 75% uh, uh, paint and 25% paint thinner. So we'll try it with that and uh, put it in the spray gun and uh, see how it works. Okay, you can see it's up to 16 ounces now, and that was uh, 4 ounces of paint that are put in. And so, grab yourself a new stick, that's why I grabbed a handful of the sticks, because the one that you use to stir the paint still got a bunch of paint on it, and that'll, that'll mess up your ratio just a little bit. So, that's, you know, grab a handful and use a fresh stick when you're stirring up uh, your reduced uh, paint. Alright, so I got my reduced paint uh, well mixed up. Uh, I think it's a pretty good consistency, at least to start with. And, uh, oops, that thing blew over. So now I'm ready to put it in my paint gun. And I do have these uh, filters. And part of the reason I'm experimenting with using this with my paint gun is because I did go and buy all this stuff just for this project. And so I'm going to experiment and at least hope I, hopefully I can get my money out of this stuff. And uh, maybe save a few bucks over that uh, Duplicolor stuff. I'm tell you the truth, I'm I'm not too happy with it, even though at this point all I've used is the primer. So now I'll get the uh, the mixed paint into the uh, gun, plug it in the compressor, and uh, uh, try it out on the on the hood. I got a piece of cardboard. I actually shoot that first, but I wanted to put actually put it on some metal to really see how it looks. So I'll get this filled up and uh, try it out. Alright, here's my uh, spray test on the piece of cardboard, and uh, yeah, this paint is a lot thicker, and it comes out of the gun a lot better, it covers a lot better uh, than this. This is, hopefully you can see that, There's some shadows, but this was my practice yesterday when I was spraying the primer, and this was with the exact same gun settings, I haven't changed anything, uh, the same line pressure, the same uh, the same number of turns out on the uh, the fluid t on the fluid dial, uh, same fan and everything. So the thicker paint definitely works better with this gun. And if I remember right, that gun has a uh, 1.4 tip. Now I don't know anything about paint guns, but from my understanding, that's pretty big. Uh, so here's the paint on the hood, and uh, it came out real nice. I mean, this is it was came out a lot better and covered a lot better than that primer did. That primer was, I mean, sprayed out a bunch of like almost powder. And uh, so, anyway, we'll let this dry and uh, we'll do a little bit of wet sanding on it just like the other guys in the other videos and then uh, spray some more.